Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about prayer in school. First off, fuck the Supreme Court and all the nonsense. This is something that's just come up again. This is something that will always come up as long as silly, ignorant people run the country. Now, prayer in school is nonsense. It's bullshit because when you get down to it, you know for a fact that everybody's got this delusion that it's a Catholic Christian country in the United States of America. Well, guess what? When your kids are led in Islamic prayer and the all encompassing, how many, how many, how many? Parts of religion are there. Like, how many Catholic... You are opening the floodgates for nonsense. Leading prayer in school teachers. It's just bullshit. The eroding of the separation of church and state. However, this will probably be a short one, because I'm just going to fucking talk about how bullshit it is. I just had to slip this in here and get this in, you know, for the 4th of July weekend. This is, for me the desperate cries and desperate holding on to power that is the religious right in this country or the religious mindset. And I could go lean further and say fanatics. And I've done a uh, podcast on how um, the decline of church or, or religion, what's happening is just a grasp of power. The, the, idea of oh you know we've got to hold on to this power because i've talked about this uh, society is changing around the world it'll take longer for certain places and do you know why it takes longer for certain places why women's clitoris is uh, being disfigured and why there's slavery still in other places in the world it's because of religion and things like this prayer in school <laughs> this is so silly but Let's see how the Supreme Court rules all the lies they told. And this was known. We all knew the Supreme Court nominees were lying. But Democrats accepted them in too. And this is another issue I have with this whole thing. And the whole thing, I mean politics. I don't know when people are going to wake up and realize it's two heads of the same snake. That the Democrats and Republicans serve the money, the dollar. And you can put a spin on it. You can put a new face on it with Democrats. It's just not working. You blew it. You've been blowing it. You fucking let these nominees in. You don't play your game right. This is the bullshit I see on Facebook with the blue no matter who. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever done research? Have you ever looked at the... Laws that they vote on, your Cory Bookers and your AOCs and your whatever the fuck that country has been in charge of the Democrats for so long, Pelosi. Do you see what they vote on? Do you go look and look at their records and compare them and realize they're not vote they're not for you? All they do is send fucking emails to fucking ask for money. This is great. Oh, abortion's been overturned. We need money. No, you assholes. You've had majority for a while, more than once. And this goes past people. No. When Republicans have majority, they get shit done. When Democrats have majority, things get muddied. And, and, you know, where is the Medicare for all? Free health care. Like, free schools. This is bullshit. And now we've got prayer in school. You got... A big issue on your hand, but I see this in the long run as inevitable and much needed. I sit around, I got old, I'm in my 50s now, 51, and I look at things looking back, and as I get older, I really have no you know, issue with saying shit now, and I guess that's the thing with coming with age. But there are people you love, people you really respect and they're just shields for this type of stuff and what i mean by shields is 
these people are awesome. I have awesome aunts and uncles. They're just the wonderful people. They don't do wrong in the world. They want things better. But then they are a shield for this because this is what religion uses. The everyday person who believes in a god, which is silly enough. How are we leading children into fairy tales? Do you think one of your gods that you chose is choosing America? It's like the football teams, you know, the football team, oh, I thank God for winning. What about the losing team? Their prayer, their, their, their godness is not on par? This is so fucking ridiculous. There's a reason it's a separation of church and state. I can't wait for the Christian going, Christian, whatever you, nation, whatever the fuck you call it, Catholics, in an uproar when they're preaching about cutting Jewish kids' heads off in their prayer. Like, where do you think this ends? Every denomination, every religion out there now has a foothold to teach your kids their religion. You know how long it took? Us, and I say us, atheists, the secular nation, to drag Catholicism out of the dark ages and make it the fluffy, puffy, nice and soft Jesus New Testament bullshit. And why it is the way it is now. Because if it wasn't done, you'd be living in the hands maiden's tale, right? All that bullshit, you see the memes everywhere. Oh, this is a ruling, you know, states will have the choice. Yeah, but. This is just your desperate cry and hold on to power. I talked about this before. This is inevitable. Society is changing. The world is changing. It'll take longer because of fucking asshats and fucktards just in charge of things and the way they've got the system. But they want you, you know, going to school, paying for your college, getting a job. These things can't be handled by the normal everyday person going to work and thinking that they're going to pay their rent and their loved ones and their, their partners and what life goes on. We're supposed to have politicians that do this for us. And the system has failed. It has failed in a monumental way. But again, this isn't me even getting angry and super mad and ranting. This is me seeing the death throes of a certain mindset in this country. Oh, my trumpet, I got on it. He was a trumpet douchebag. Fucking asshat. But he's a symbol for the mindset that he represents and the racism and the fucking inherent shittiness about people in the world. And maybe he was good at it, but he wasn't a good president. Fucking terrible. This bullshit. Looking back on his thing. I don't play numbers games and, you know, this is up and you know, quarterly this, and this is, no, because we all know presidents inherit shit, and they leave shit behind, that gets passed on and smoothed over, but this is a Democrat issue as well as Republican, don't think this gets by with you sitting on Facebook and, and Twitter and going, no, we have to really push and win votes and stuff, you lost, everybody's lost, this is not going to change the way you want it to. You're going to have to wait this out now until generations after generations are sick of this shit. You ban abortions, every woman should be striking. I don't care what religion you're in. Government has no say in a woman's body or any pretense and lies about caring about unborn children and saving lives. Because you're fucking liars. You're just bullshit artists. But... The shield who really do care, the good people who think this is nice and they warped, deluded sense of a God and religion and what's wrong and what's a sin. This is all a system that's been groomed and in, we've all been indoctrinated at one point or another. I talk about, oh, being surprised as an adult that people still, people actually believed in God. I thought it was a kid thing. But guess what? I was a kid. I, I did go to communion and get all that bullshit. I stopped the confirmation. I never did the final one. Because I realized what a fucking farce it is. And what a joke it is. Supreme Court rules. You can pray over schools allowed. Oh, oh, but don't worry. It's a state thing. Yeah, guess what? It is a state thing. And now it's legal in New York to smoke weed. 
So go smoke some weed. Go to the fucking store now on 16th and U. Buy some edibles and just know that this is the desperate cries and death throes of a certain mindset. Call it right wing, call it religious and whatever it is. But this is something that we've had discussions with throughout our history. We know this would be a separation of church and state. It's clear in our constitution. Oh, but no, bear right to bear arms. Bear right to, yeah, what about the... Oh, no, no, you know. You're all fucking hypocrites. It's just bullshit. And I can't wait till there's so many religions leading prayer in school and your kids come home and like, what about the Islamic God? You guys are fucking nuts. You women are crazy. You're sitting there with your reproductive organ rights and your vagina and your ovaries are now in charge of a government, forced pregnancies. And now, oh yeah, let's, let's, let's let prayer in school again. Teachers can leave prayer in school. No, they can't. They should not. They know they should not. Because even the good religious people who go into this and look into it go, this is bullshit. We shouldn't be able to do this. No one said you can't lead privately in prayer. God has never left school. You're leaving God because you're all bullshit artists. You don't believe in your God. If you believed in your God, this world would be a dystopia. It would be a land of awesomeness and prom. No, it's all bullshit. Because we're human beings. We're cognitive functions. We all have our things. And this is not something that is just going to go away easily. I realize that. You know, it was a little bit of a surprise. But these are the death throes of a certain mindset. You want to bring prayer back? Sure, you want to ban abortions? You're just fucking stupid. You're just trying to desperately get those cockroaches to crawl out of the woodwork and come join you. Let them know that they have some fight left in them. Good, go ahead. Let's see how many times this goes back and forth, overturned. How many states have certain laws? How many people will be fleeing the states because they were raped and then they're forced to have an abortion? Oh, something did go wrong. Doctors have to get this. Oh, Let's go see if this, you know, stay out of their fucking uteruses. Stay out of their fucking issues and problems. Like it's a big fucking holiday when women decide to get abortions. Don't you understand fucking human nature? No woman wants to do it. It's not a fucking party thing. And you make it so stupid. All the data is there. All the evidence is there. We know the philosophy. We know the right and wrongs of this. But it doesn't matter because the Dems and fucking Republicans will... Make this a big event, and now everybody donate, vote blue no matter who. We've got it's all fucking bullshit until a third party comes, forms from parts of the Democrats and parts of the Republicans, and stands up and says, Now you both need our power, you need our numbers. Until that happens, you fucked. And no matter how much you say blue no matter who, imagine saying we're gonna vote. It's not going to matter. And we know it's not going to matter because it hasn't mattered. You want to get into a big three-hour fucking debate about where it breaks down on when I right now in Brooklyn, New York, go to my local place and view and go to some meeting to my district fucking area bullshitter politician and he goes and he represents me to the, oh, go to vote. Yes, of course voting is awesome and you should do it and it's something that you, you know, can feel proud about. But stop the bullshit with it has to be blue no matter who. I don't give a fuck if who and this nation votes for some third party because they're fed up with stuff. Because guess what? They have the right idea. There needs to be a new party that breaks up this bullshit, puts an end to all this stuff. This is guy who did a fucking Twitter rant. And he should be world famous. The fucking House of Representatives, whatever you call that thing with politicians. The poorest member is worth like $10 million. You got Nancy Pelosi worth 114 something million fucking dollars. Blue no matter who. Fuck off, please. But you know what? These beautiful, wonderful people we call friends and family don't have the time and dedication to figure this all out. They depend on their representatives. They should be able to depend on the Democrat. They should be able to say blue no matter who because we know what's right. Lesser are two evils. Whatever. 
But no, they're busy getting ready to go to school. To get a career, to pay their bills, to, to go through life with the people they love, their partners. And you're trying to fucking narrow this shit down. What's next? Same-sex marriage? Interracial marriage? Hey, how far in the past you think this has gone? Where do you think this ends? We know where it ends. This is, this is the desperate cries, but we live in a system that's been rigged for us. Should have been done in a good way, right? You know, but people abuse things. They will look to circumvent certain things and take advantage of certain other things to make it work in their favor. And that's what this is now. There's no amount of argument, no solid logical debates about pro-life, pro-choice. It's pro-choice. It's the only way. Because pro-life comes from the decision of the person deciding to have it, not a government. Same with prayer in school. Nothing stops the teachers and the kids from getting together on a private thing and saying, no, you know, let's lead a prayer in Hindu this. Let's do Islamic this. Let's do, no, you know what? And then guess what? You have churches. And you have your homes. Leave the fucking schools alone. So we can get kids with critical thinking skills. Because you believe in fucking fairy tales. You believe in these fairy tales so much that you believe that there's a guy in a seat in the fucking sky dictating shit. Oh, thank God this. What about thank God that? Is he getting blamed for that? No. It's God works in mysterious ways. All your gods are degenerate fucking monsters. Homicidal fucking maniacs. And apologetics can do only so much. And you know what? Maybe in 200 years, the Islamic religion will look more like the Catholic or uh, Christian religion, right? Because it'll be dragged out through ages when they realize they're big buildings and all those slavery is just not, pro it's not the, you know, fucking, let's change things because that's what's going to happen. This will all change again. But this is a clear sign. They are afraid. And they, I mean the politicians in general, Abortions get banned. Prayers allowed in school. We know what they're all going for, but we knew this beforehand. How the fuck do you approve these judges? You knew. Everybody knew because this is all a fucking scheme. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the Democrats are sitting there and they're, you know, twirling their mustaches. But they're stuck in a system that's been rigged for them. And don't think they care about your uterus or your the person you love they give no fucks it's the seed of power the mighty dollar and it's ingrained in everything it's ingrained in this beautiful nation that i live in one of the greatest nations on the earth it's really declining now we can't you know say this enough wake up i don't care what you believe I don't care how deeply and strongly you feel about this. Truth over feelings. This is fucking stupid. But it's a sign that is kind of anticipated. Make no mistake, people are changing. Society is changing. That love and peaceful feeling of the hippie nation, things like whatever. It's there, and it's always going to be there, and people are changing. It's just on a scale we don't see. And in a way, it makes me a little sad that there will be a day uh, I will be passing from this earth, and I'll look and see that things haven't changed much, or that they seem to be reverting going back. But I think I know enough of research and how to do my own thing to know that the data shows the world is improving in many ways. If we can make it past these hurdles, these difficulties, these fights, these struggles, we're going to be an incredible species, incredible planet in this vast universe. And maybe there's nothing else out there. Maybe we are the last or the first and only a, a life out there that has sentient thought, thinking about thinking, that metacognition thing that makes us human, 
makes us different from cats and dogs. And even that we're learning more and more every day. How fascinating is it? Neurology and um, evolutionary biology, all this science stuff. It's just beautiful to me. And it can't be smudged, it can't be tarnished, because the truth wins. And the truth is, it doesn't matter what you believe in. Right? Because you have to separate that, your feelings from what's right and wrong. Prayer should not be allowed to be led in school. It's a simple thing. And when it comes to your religion getting shit on, made fun of, and besmirched, and when certain ethnic groups, as uh, you know, prayer is lifted with children's voices about killing them. And I'll say this again, just to make a point. Your gods are disgusting, filthy fucking monsters. You don't read your Bibles or care where the word comes from. As long as it resonates and gives you that good, warm feeling. And yeah, you know what? Most people at the end of the time will probably, you know, okay, well, it's, it's just the way humans work. Well, look, if there is a God out there, you know, forgive me for my sins type thing. And that could be where it leads eventually. I'd like to see all fucking religion gone, but this is a growth. This is just the system working. And all these things we plaster on top, these great experiments of democracy and republics, and this is all evolution of a society. We're all moving from one to another. We have the Dark Ages and this fucking illiterate fucks creating Bibles and stuff because they're scared shit and they're fucking desperate. You have this inkling in you that, oh, babies and unborn fetuses and this whole fucking thing, but you're hypocrites and you know you are. And this prayer in school, oh, you're hypocrites and you know you are. Because any Christian right here, whatever, who hears this and thinks that this is what's right for America, well, guess what? What happens when the Muslims and other religions o o overcome and have numbers greater than yours? Because their countries really don't give a fuck, right? They've got open slave systems there. They've got a lockdown. Your religions are like, you know, puff pastry. you got no real balls. There's no Jesus coming to help you. He doesn't give a fuck if there is one. And his fucking God, Father, God create. It's all nonsense. But we have prayer in school, this overruling in the Supreme Court. And I look back and I'm just thinking to myself as I'm 51 years old. These are the cycles that will happen. There will always be people desperate to cling on to their power. Just to see the landscape of this gives me actual hope like these struggles are necessary we need antibodies in our body we need this is just a maybe just a function that is necessary for us to see these flaws there should be not one woman working in this country right now regardless of what religion you believe in stop the bullshit with abortions and Putting the numbers up. Oh, 6,000 women. In, well, you know what? What's the percent? Oh, less than 1% of the population. All right. Enough. You've just been hoodwinked by your fucking local constituents and this fucking overarching banner of Republican and Democrat. Bismarck just said the Green Party, you know. Get an idea. Do a little research. Learn about these things. It doesn't matter what you believe in right now, uh, what denomination or what you know affiliation with a certain religion you're on. It doesn't matter because you know that prayer should not be allowed in schools in the way it is described or ruled. Because we know prayer was never taken away and banned. That's all a lie. That's all just bullshit. The right-wing religious bullshit thing was just promoting 
No, it's never. And all those memes about, oh, well, we put God back in school. No. Your feeble, ineffective God is not worthy. It's just not worth it. It doesn't work that way anymore. And this isn't, this isn't even Little House on the Prairie and this fucking expansion of the West. And this is not even that. How long ago was it that women could vote? White and black people could marry, interracial. Like, this is not that far in our past. And this is just the growing pains again. People are desperate, white, scared people at the end of their lives, grasping on, thinking that this is going to give them some gateway to some pearly gates of heaven. No. You're fucking hypocrites. But I don't see it as a total bad thing. I think this is just this is this necessary stuff. And yeah, I would like it where it wasn't and, and things were better. And I lived in a nation that, like other nations in this fucking world, that had free health care and all this stuff. And you know what? People say, oh, but you know, you have to wait. Well, it didn't do it better. Aren't we? The, aren't, isn't that what this is supposed to be? You make the fucking uh, single pay or whatever work. The people have done the numbers of Bernie Sanders. All the, it can work. Okay? You can have separation of church and state. Well, you can have as many churches as you want. And people like me won't come bulldoze your places over because you can say I'm a, you know, strong atheist. I believe religion does more harm than good. But those are my feelings. I'm not going to come stop you in your church from praying and getting your group together in your community. Stay the fuck out of public schools. I don't want your fucking stupid brainwashing of this country so your religious fucking right wings and left wings, because it's there too. Don't fucking believe the bullshit. So you can keep this fucking cycle going longer. That's what it is. They need to indoctrinate fucking kids. They don't give a fuck what religion it is. As long as we warp the brains of fucking children. And there's where I get upset. There's where I will get angry. What, what religion is it that lets them decide at 16? It's a great illusion. It may be one of the lesser of two evils, right? Where you say, hey, well, you know, at 16 you get to choose. and go. Well, you know, you were fucking an infant. And you grew up. How humans evolve with their parents and stuff. You're fucked. It doesn't matter. We need... Parents like mine. And you know what? You could say that there was a lack of parenting and their shitty parents. Maybe. If you look at it from, oh, my father left and, you know, my mother, mental issues and drugs or whatever. But I can't tell you how many times the fucking religion things came up and it was more like you're ready to make your own decisions. I talk about it in one of my podcasts, how one of the most proudest moments was I got thrown out of religion instructions for laughing. And I was I never told my mother I would just leave at two o'clock and not go to the fucking church. And she got a letter and she was sitting on the couch, whatever. And she, when she looked at it and folded it up, she asked me what happened. I just, she goes, Do you want would, do you want to go back? I said, No. She goes, Okay, at two o'clock come home, you read a book. And she was like Stephen King freak, so that's what we need. It doesn't matter that my mother really cared about religion. Well, if my aunt really believes in God and all that stuff, they don't dictate to anybody else. They don't need prayer in school. Because your feeble, ethereal gods can't penetrate it. It's just fucking stupid. Hypocritical bullshit. But this is the turn in the country, right? This is the... Oh, we'll get things, we'll go to the voting polls. Oh, we need voter turnout. Is this, is that. No, you better vote. Who's doing this? Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. This is a wonderful thing in a way. Like, it's a beautiful thing that someone in, a, in a, another country can hold up their cell phone, show the wrongs of a police or a military nation, and it spreads around the world. And you're going to get some negative from that, sure. We see it every day, right? But that's the age we live in. 
as soon as you hit the news and you can see women around the world striking and hitting the streets because they banned abortion. And in every angle, in every con that's played by politicians, is something that you've been born into. It's been something that is part of your heuristics and your cognitive distortions and all the things that make up who you are. It takes a lot of introspective, you know, diving and a lot of self-awareness to realize that you can be a great loving Christian and Catholic, a Hindu, a Muslim. I know that. But when it comes to these things, you have to stand up for your own fucking rights. The reason the separation of church and state is for a reason. It's for your fucking protection also. But you won't see that. You're just caught up in this rat race, in this fucking world we've been thrust into. I didn't ask to be born here in the place I am with the parents I am. I have. But I do consider myself lucky that I grew up in one of the greatest nations in the world. Perhaps one of the greatest cities in the world, New York. Brooklyn, New York. I got toilets and air conditioning. And yeah, there is a part that pulls up my heartstrings seeing that there are homeless people and that there's enough housing empty that could we could we could have we could end homelessness, we could end world hunger. But no, let's infringe on women's rights. Let's erode the separation of church and state because you are desperate to hold on to this power, this perceived righteous cause you have. And this righteous cause is going to make you make hypocritical moves. You'll have silly ideas and all this stuff. And where's it going to come? And where's it going to go? It's just a cycle. And in a way, I see it as good things. And you don't get me wrong, I don't want it to happen. I don't want any woman to fear, you know, having um, an abortion or having any issues like that. I don't want women wondering if they can marry other women and men marrying another man or kind of a black and a white or a Puerto Rican. Is, like, that's where they'll point to because this mindset is in desperation. It's clawing and it's desperately looking for a foothold to hold on to. And that's kind of natural in a sense. But fuck you. Fuck all of you. You fucking asshats. It doesn't matter in the long run. Because i just an optimist in that. I think it'll win out in the end. You know, common sense, logic, and just the betterment of humanity, like we're evolving, we're growing as societies around the world, and it's taken a while. But I do have hope. And I think this, these are just the signs. These are just the signs of our anti-immune systems working and failing and getting stronger, coming back stronger. And that's where I think I'll leave this. Um, the Supreme Court made a ruling, teachers could lead prayer in school. It's bullshit. Go fuck yourself. You want to make a ban on abortions? Oh, a state thing. Fuck you. Fuck off. I don't care. Democrat, Republican, far right, far left, centrist. You're all part of this fucking disgusting machine. And it's the July 4th weekend. Yay. Who gives a fuck, right? Go get your fucking Trump pictures, jerk off to it, go get your barbecues going and your white power nation bullshit because it's all inherent in you, right? We know where the cause lies and it could be generations before you, the way you were raised. Well, let's be self-aware. Let's do a little introspective, you know, searching and let's find out within ourselves why these things resonate with us and don't resonate with us. Some of the Greatest minds will always say, question your strongest beliefs the most. The things you believe in strongly should always be questioned and re-examined. Justify your beliefs to yourself. But, 
Again, we're just in a system that just lets us go to work and worry about things and we depend on these politicians. And until it changes, this is what's going to happen, right? But I think it's a balance and it's a sign of things that will hopefully lead to a better place. So, have a happy 4th of July weekend. I love you all. My best to you and yours. Later.